A warm greeting. Today is Saturday, June 28, 2025. This is meteorologist Ruben Garcia. In this video, I will be giving an update on Invest 95, which continues to show signs of cyclonic development and is projected to become Tropical Storm Flossy over the next five days as it moves parallel to the southern coast of Mexico. So I will talk about what changes have emerged in the track and intensity forecasts, where it now may strengthen into a hurricane. I will also talk about the effects that are anticipated across some states in Mexico, including Baja California Sur. But first, I briefly wanted to mention that we are also closely monitoring Invest 91, which is currently over the Bay of Campeche and has a medium chance of cyclonic development. It is possible that a tropical depression or weak tropical storm could form just before impacting Veracruz or Tamaulipas during the evening hours on Sunday. So if you want to know more details about this low-pressure system, I invite you to look for a video I recorded earlier today. But let's focus on Invest 95. As you can see, the circulation of this disturbance is very broad, and some showers have affected areas of Oaxaca and Guerrero. But because the circulation is so broad, the process of cyclonic development and organization has been quite slow, and about 48 hours are still needed before a tropical depression forms. This is why the National Hurricane Center has continued to increase the chances of cyclonic development. In the latest outlook, they increase the probability to 70% over the next 48 hours and maintain a 90% chance of development over the next 7 days. If we look at the updated track projections from specialized models, you can see that today we have good consensus that it will maintain a west-northwest motion over the next 5 days and could eventually reach the area of Baja California Sur. But one change we did see in the projections is that now the track is a little closer to Colima and Jalisco. And although the most significant effects should still remain over Pacific waters, it's important that we stay alert to any changes in the projections. We've also seen some changes in the intensity forecasts. During the day yesterday, the projections indicated that it should remain a tropical storm, but this morning the models are being more aggressive. In general, they project a Category 1, Category 2, or even Category 3 hurricane in about 72 hours, which represents a major change in intensity projections. This is likely due to the fact that the tracks have now shifted a bit closer to the coast. Remember that tropical cyclones need very warm ocean surface temperatures in order to strengthen, and precisely just south of Mexico we have an area with ocean surface temperatures between 25 to 30 degrees Celsius, which can be very favorable for the rapid strengthening of tropical cyclones. In contrast, just south and southwest of Baja California Sur, we have a zone with much cooler temperatures between 23 to 25 degrees Celsius. So if the center of circulation manages to stay farther to the right, it would move over warmer waters than previously projected in recent days, and this could definitely lead to faster strengthening and perhaps the formation of Hurricane Flossie. However, there is still uncertainty. Remember that if the center ends up moving over the coast of Mexico or takes a more leftward track, this could limit its intensification. Meanwhile, if it stays just parallel to the coast but over Pacific waters, it could strengthen into a hurricane. This uncertainty is typical when we have systems that are in the process of developing, and it is clearly seen in the ensemble members of the American model, where some show a track moving over parts of Guerrero, Michoacán, and Colima, but the vast majority still maintain a track over Pacific waters, in some scenarios moving well to the west without posing a threat to Mexico, and in others, a more northeastward track, possibly posing a future threat to parts of southern Baja California Sur. The ensemble of the European model has better consensus in this case, with most members keeping the future cyclone away from the coasts of Guerrero, Oaxaca, Colima, and Jalisco in the long term. Notice that those showing a more rightward or eastward track present a scenario where it could reach Baja California Sur, perhaps as a tropical storm, but it's important to note that many of them also show a more westward track. In that case, it would remain far from Baja California Sur. Let's look at the most recent projections from the global models. Let's start with the American model. Notice that in the latest run it strengthens Invest 95 into a hurricane but maintains a track just south of the states of Oaxaca, Guerrero, Colima, and Jalisco. In the long term, by the end of next week, it brings it near Baja California Sur, but is a weakened system and shows its dissipation before moving into the area. The European model agrees with this track, although it has a slightly stronger hurricane and a slightly more rightward track, which could allow some areas of Baja California Sur to experience effects from a weak tropical storm by the end of next week. Meanwhile, the German model also keeps that track to the south of Oaxaca, Guerrero, and Michoacan, but in the long term takes a more westward turn, which would keep it away from Baja California Sur. So definitely quite a bit of uncertainty in the medium and long term. For now, it seems the most likely track is toward the Baja California Sur region, but at the moment we are confident that the cold ocean temperatures in that area would weaken any tropical storm or hurricane heading in that direction. 
Remember that there are still some scenarios in which it could pass closer to Colima and Jalisco, and others where it could move farther away from the coast. That's why it's important that we remain alert. We really won't have an accurate forecast until a tropical depression forms, which should happen within the next 36 to 48 hours. At the moment, it appears that tropical storm and hurricane force winds will remain over Pacific waters just south of Guerrero, Michoacan, Colima, and Jalisco. And in the long term, if it moves toward Baja California Sur, it is very likely to dissipate before reaching the area. So the chances of tropical storm winds affecting Baja California Sur are very low at the moment. Over the next five days, it should rain quite heavily along the coasts of Guerrero, Mihuacan, Colima, and Jalisco, with some rainfall totals reaching between 100 to 200 millimeters through next Wednesday. Well, here at Hurricane Info, I will continue to monitor the evolution of Invest 95 and will record a video for you if the forecast changes. So I ask you to please like this video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel by clicking the red button, and click the bell so you get notified when I record new videos. With that, I'll say goodbye for now. Until next time.